Hello everybody, hello friends. Thank you for clicking on the video. My name is Jared and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I hope that you would consider subscribing. We are on our road to 500 subscribers and I am very excited to do that giveaway when we reach that landmark because I have something very special for that particular giveaway and um, high hopes for the winner who will it be so yes so go ahead and click that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet but if you are already a returning viewer and a supporter of my channel welcome back so today I am going to review a scent that hasn't been released re-released yet by Bath and Body Works and so therefore this is already considered a rare scent nowadays but I was able to pick myself a pair of this scent from last year's SAS actually so with this current SAS um, fingers crossed I'd be able to find a backup bottle of this scent but um, as I've said I've purchased this from last year but I'm going to do the review today so I hope that you are all excited but without further ado the scent that we are going to review today is Belize Tropical Cabana so this was the release the summer tropical release back in 2021 and um, together with this actually are the scents um, Waikiki Beach Coconut um, Key West and um, what else Bahamas Passion Fruit so I've already reviewed Bahamas Passion Fruit and Waikiki Beach Coconut. If um, you wanted to view those, I'm going to link up there the card for those. But um, I reviewed them in the 2022 packaging. But this one, this is the release from 2021. So this is how many years old? Two years old already. And um, you know, it was just lately that I have used this. As I've said, I purchased this from last year. But I was able to just use this recently and see the dent I have made already with the mist. But yes, there you go. Beautiful copper packaging of Belize. But let's go ahead and dive in. So the tropi uh, the tropical, the fragrance notes, the fragrance notes of um, Belize Tropical Cabana are banana daiquiri, juicy pineapple, and golden sands now initial thoughts actually for this if um, you know if I, I be truly honest with you all the I believe this would be the same DNA with Waikiki it's just that instead of a coconut we have right here a beautiful blend of pineapple and banana um, it's it is a bit weird you know, if you all would ask me, it is a, a bit weird combination of pineapple and banana. But it works. Definitely it works. And um, just like Waikiki Beach Coconut, well, with my body chemistry, the fruity scents wouldn't last long, really. But for this, as I've said, it's Perhaps it has the same DNA as Waikiki, except that it is a different fruit. And also, it kind of reminds me as well of um, Midnight Swim, was it? Or, no, Sea Salt and Lavender. There you go. Um, sea Salt and Lavender. And with that, it, it, instead of a fruit, we have a floral. We have a flower, uh, which is lavender. Right, but for this one, it's a very nice combination of pineapple and banana. You don't have to worry about the banana because as it dries down, you'll definitely get more of the pineapple. But initial spray, um, you'll get the banana. And um, when I, the first few times that I sprayed this on, it actually reminded me of um, Gerber, the the baby food the, the banana ones um, because that is what uh, what it smells like in the initial spray but as I've said as it dries down you'll get more of the pineapple mixed with 
that sandiness. I'm not sure. These, it's, it, the fragrance notes right here. It says it's a gold. It's golden sand. So I'm not really sure, but it kind of it. It is kind of like an earthy, salty, um, base scent that you know that would that would linger. And as I've said, it, it's not more of a banana anymore. Once it dries down, it's much more of a pineapple. And um, it's but it isn't too sweet just like you know other pineapple scents um, so this is just a perfectly well balanced fruity scent not an overly fruit scent um, and also like comparing it to Waikiki Beach Coconut because Waikiki Beach Coconut as well isn't much isn't a full-on banana scent that is I'm sorry coconut scent but um, with Belize it's going to be the same thing as I've said it's um, if you compare it with Waikiki, it's going to be a different fruit, and it's a very nice combination of banana and pineapple. Longevity-wise, I would say it's going to be the same as you know I uh, I, I had with um, with my experience with Waikiki Beach Coconut and even sea salt and lavender. So it is right there because I think it would be perhaps that saltiness or the sandiness note that works well with my body chemistry that's why it would last long on me um if i timed it around four to five hours with the cream of course um the cream you'll get more of the banana actually so you'll get more gerber out of this of this uh, of the cream but um as i've said you know if you mix this uh, with the mist um, it is a perfectly balanced fruity scent. Um, you don't have to worry about being it overtly sweet um, because it isn't like really full on sweet, fruity sweet like other fruity scents. But yeah, it's it's a really a beautiful scent. I'm not sure why you know this hasn't really um, hype, but um, I'm hoping that soon if not this year because um they have I, I, I'm, I'm thinking that you know um bath and body has already completed their release of the summer scents but i hope that you know by next year we'll have tropical cabana um re-released because i truly enjoyed this scent and i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to keep this for now i'm not going to use this as much as i want to because as i said this is already a rare scent um, but it's not going to be priced as much as other rare scents because as I've said I don't think this has been hyped all along that you know all along the lines of other scents like champagne rose and um, you know the, the, the other rare scents because um, I, I don't think you know people are really into fruity scents but I would back up Tropical Cabana, Belize Tropical Cabana because it is that good. And if you are somebody who likes fruity scents and um, you know something wearable that is, then I say go ahead and get yourself Belize Tropical Cabana. Alright, so that should be all. Thank you so much everybody for watching. That is my review of Belize Tropical Cabana by Bath & Body Works. I hope that you all click the like button and comment down below your thoughts if you already have your own bottles of Belize Tropical Cabana. Let me know your thoughts, you know, if perhaps also you have leads of where we can get more backups of this scent. Let me know as well in the comment section and let's talk. Alright, don't forget to subscribe of course if you haven't done so already. Thank you so much everybody for watching. Till next review. Bye-bye. Take care.